We're going to be meeting up with a business owner yeah, who runs a business in the automotive yeah, industry. Okay, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how he started, how he began, and how he's running his business. So I'll be learning a lot from this video, and I hope that you guys also will learn a lot from this video, whoever wants to start a business. So let's go and well, yeah, get sure. going. Just want to ask you a little bit about you sure. know your business. So like, tell us a little bit about your business and like what you do for the people who are watching. So we're 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 located in, in Fort Worth, Texas, north of Fort Worth, Texas, right by the stockyards. Uh, we're a, a small tire shop. Uh, we basically we we sell new and used tires. We fix flats. Uh, we do oil changes, vehicle state inspections, brakes, suspension, small mechanic work. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So like with you, I know that like, you started this shop, like when did you begin this whole thing? Like, you know, uh, doing tires and... Uh, I started approximately, I want to say about a little over three years ago. Three years ago? Yes. Awesome. And what got you into this industry? Like, why did you have that desire to start a tire shop? Uh, it wasn't, I, I didn't always have my eyes set on a tire shop. It was just much more of owning my own business. Being your own business. like a self-employed type of deal, right? Okay. I didn't want to work for anybody else. and. Uh, before this, I, I was in another business as well, but I, I, I sold it and or sold my part from it. And then we, we kind okay. of, I, I said, well, what do I invest my money in? I don't want to go back to working for anybody. Yeah. And uh, I was happy to look online and I seen that the owner of this business was selling it. Okay. And he was wow. just doing tires. Oh, man. So uh, I said, hey, you know, why not? Let's give it a shot. And it was uh, at low cost. Man, so like I, you said that you bought this business, so I'm kind of curious. Like, did you have any experience whenever you jumped into it? Was it just a risk I, and just jumped? I had a, a vehicle state inspection machine as well, and okay. when it was in a tire shop, this was in Dallas. Okay. And I used to kind of just see how they worked and how they did things, mm -hmm. and and from there I was like, hey, it's not that difficult. It can't be. And uh, yeah, I just I seen it was for sale. It was a small little shop ideal. Okay. So I said, let's give it a shot. Why not? Man, so you just took the risk and then you yeah, just, just like, took let's the just risk go for it. Yes. Man, I mean, you got some, you know, you got it all filled up here. So it's pretty, it looks we pretty try. nice. We try. Like, what were some of the challenges that you faced um, through this business? I know there's a lot of stuff that you can go uh, through. It. Like anything, honestly, a lot of times we say the money, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, I think the biggest thing, it, it can be, but at the same time, is the customers, bringing the customers. in the customers, right? Because the yeah. customers are going to help you keep the business going. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but yes, on so that the end. Customers, uh, what made you have the desire to begin, you know, running business? Because I know you said you don't like working for other people, right? So, like, for people who are watching, there's some of them who wants to, like, maybe start their own business sometime and they don't know where to begin. Like, what advice would you have for somebody who wants to begin that? I encourage them. I encourage for you to try to own your own business, to start your own thing. Um, if uh, Don't be afraid of fail. Failing is not an option. And if you fail, it's okay. Get up and start over again. I, that's, that's just me, right? Yeah. And if you don't try it, it'd be the same thing as failing, right? So just, just take the fail while you're trying, at no, least, right? That's a good advice, man. I'm gonna take a tour around if you don't mind. Just, sure. No, not you know, at all. Showing us a little bit about... Not at all. You know, it's, it's a small shop. There ain't much to walk around in, but <laughs> uh, we have some of our oil here. What we do synthetic, full synthetic, and a synthetic blend as well. Okay. So I've heard a lot about, like, oils. There's different kind of oils. Like, what's the difference between, like, full synthetic and synthetic oil? Okay, like, so... Price for once, right? Okay. And then also the so the full synthetic is a lot better on your engines. It sticks more to the particles, okay. to the engine. So it's more about the quality. The quality, correct? Okay, awesome. Because yes. I always get asked that same thing when I'm changing my oil. It's like, oh, yes. we want the full synthetic, but that's awesome, though, man. I, I see Thank that you. you also have a, what is this right here? This uh, a, a lift. lift. Oh, a so lift. whenever we get any any mechanic work, anything like that, like suspension that we have to pick up the cars better than having the guys work on their knees okay. or, or, or laying down. I okay. got them a lift that so you way got all this, work a lot better. Like whenever you started, you had all this in store in here or was no, it already? No, I, 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 I had to add most of this. So all he had was some tires and right. two machines. Uh, we gradually went growing a little bit more, got an inspection machine. I had to get another tire changer. Okay. Uh, I, I added oil 
And then my last add-on was the lift. The lift. Oh, awesome, yes. man. I mean, it's a good investment, man. I mean, yes, it is. business is business. I see a lot of car, uh, car shops out there that are kind of doing the same thing you do as well. Yes. So how do you deal with like competitors in terms of like... Uh, honestly, there's business for everybody. Business there's, for there's everybody. Cleaning. So yeah. the field is not like saturated, you would say, like there's still room for other people to open a business. There's plenty this. of business for everybody. Awesome, awesome. All right, great, man. I mean, I really appreciate you. And I hope uh, everybody else who's watching, if you want to start a business, I mean, hey, people like him are the people you can learn from. And if you want to change your tires or uh, have anything that you want to get serviced, come here at Main Street. I believe that's where his business is located right now. So. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Thank you, Mr. Hyman, so much for your time. Thank we you. appreciate you. That's it for this video. I hope that you guys learned a thing or two out of the story and the interview that I just shared with you in this video with Hyman. I mean, I've learned personally that this guy took a risk to get into this business, into this industry. And well, he did not have that much knowledge in the industry, but instead he had the confidence that if everybody else can do it, he can do it too. And so I took that lesson and I, I was able to learn that from him as he shared it in this video. So I hope that you guys also learned something in this video. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, keep it to yourself, take it, use it, apply it. And I believe that you will also succeed in whatever industry that you choose to go into. If you wanna be a business owner or whatever your dreams that you might have. So let us start off this year really strong. And myself, I've really, really been thinking about taking this channel to the new hopes and kind of doing a little bit something that is different and I don't want to be the one that is more here on the screen sharing about my opinion but I want to actually get out there a little bit more this year actually get to interview guys like him like Hyman like you just watched this video get to learn get to grow and get to learn from other entrepreneurs who have been in the industry for years because these are the people whom are best to learn from especially people who are around us sometimes we just take it for granted but we have people with skills people with abilities people with things that they can be able to help us with and help us to get to the next level and so i hope that you guys got some value out of this video and i hope that you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe you like this video and i'll be bringing more content for you guys in this channel just make sure you drop the questions that you might have that you want me to ask other business owners in the future videos so make sure you guys stay safe and i will see you guys in my next video peace